White Horse Regressions by Steve Lindahl. The story begins with a crime, the murder of Paige Stackman, an actress in Springfield, Vermont, who was also the love of Hannah Hurstman's life. Hannah is frustrated by the lack of progress with Paige's case, so she takes an unusual step. She calls a hypnotist and asks him if there might be anything in the past lives of the people who knew Paige, any clue which might help solve the crime. He will have to hypnotize them to find out. Hannah is Wiley's first subject. Through the process of regression, Hannah recalls memories of a past life spent in Victorian England. The souls of the people she knows in her current incarnation are also in many of the people she knew in the 1800s. But except for her own identity, Hannah doesn't know which people from the past shared souls with people from the present. And she also doesn't know what has happened in the past that could help her find Paige's killer. In that old incarnation, Hannah was Rose, a prostitute, who lived day to day on money she raised on the dark English streets. She discovers crimes that are similar to crimes in Hannah's own time, smuggling and murder. The newspapers of 19th century London have named the murderer of that time, Jack the Ripper. To stop these crimes, Hannah learns she has to go back even further. So with Glenn Wiley's help, Hannah recalls memories of the Han Dynasty in ancient China, of the court of Emperor Ming, and of the first Buddhist temple in that enormous country, the White Horse Temple. During that lifetime, there are tremendous power struggles and unthinkable crimes centered in a delicate shadow puppet theater with a terrifying secret. Hannah discovers the importance of one very special puppet. Crimes that go on and on in life after life, and a power struggle that is unlike any other in history. This is the story at the heart of White Horse Regressions. White Horse Regressions is available online at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and All Things That Matter Press.